So I chose this. I chose Saint Stanislas Koska, and I'll be giving you a brief description of his biography and the two Ignatian spiritualities that my saint lived out during his time of life. Um, so Stanislas was born in Rostokow, Roskowa, Poland. He was born into a family of seven children on October twenty eighth, fifteen fifty. And he had older brother Paul, which was the only sibling mentioned in all his stories. And him and his brother, they both went to a school in Vienna, Austria, and this school was a Jesuit school. The They went there for three years, and on his third year, Stanislaus wanted to become a Jesuit, or he had the idea of becoming a Jesuit. And he told his he told his brother about this. His brother did not like like the idea because they weren't catholic um so his brother started to abuse him with the with him his abuse him and stanislaus threatened to his brother that he would one day leave without returning and a few days later or um stanislaus developed a a sickness that would bedrid him and then during his sickness he received a vision from the saint barbara uh, which was two angels telling him to become a Jesuit or striving to become a Jesuit. Um, and from that, from his brother abusing him, he left. He he left home to Rome. Um, he left home to Rome, and he left all his belongings at home to become a Jesuit. And Rome was three hundred fifty miles away, and with no equipment. No transportation. This was all on foot. So Stanislaus walked all the way to Rome with the help of someone, of course. I'm pretty sure that is Peter, St. Peter Canisius. And on his arrival to Rome, he met with St. Francis Borgia, the, the general of the order in Rome. And St. Francis Borgia did not permit him to enter the the novitate of St. Andrew until several days later. And so he was accepted into the to the te, uh, novitate uh, a few a few days later. But and then in a few months Stanislaus developed a severe sickness worse than what he had earlier in his lifetime. And from there he he died on August 15, 1568, and he is the patron saint of Jesuit novices, students, Poland, broken bones, and the two Ignatian spiritualities that Stanislaus lived out were cura personalis and discernment, and cura personalis is the care for the person, and is the fact that we have to strive to goal in mind to strive to better the goal in mind body and soul and with stanislaus wanting to become a jesuit he was able to strive in cura personalis for his whole person he wanted to better his mind body and soul becoming a jesuit um and discernment discernment involves prayer weighing facts and choosing between good and bad choices and with Stanislaus leaving home, becoming a Jesuit, that is a good choice. It is a choice that led him to the Eucharist, that led him to Jesus, and ultimately led him to become a saint. And that is it.